Okay, welcome everybody. Today is November the 8th, 2020, and you are uh, joining Channeling Korea. So the rest of the evening will be, um, I'm going to lead everybody into a short meditation. And when I feel ready to channel Kriya, then um, the channeling begins. And then after the channeling, we'll have a uh, question and answer period. So let's begin. So let's begin by simply tuning in, tuning into ourselves. Just start to let go of all the thoughts that has been floating around in our head. And because this is really the first channeling after the US election. So I imagine that some of you listening to this will have lots of things floating around in your head. So let's really do a good job at quieting down our monkey mind. So just take a deep breath in, breathe in easily and effortlessly. And as you breathe out, just let go of any thoughts that's not supporting you to be here and now. Just let those thoughts go. Don't try to serve them tea. Don't try to entertain them or chase after them. Just let them leave as easily as they come in. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And the more you tune in, tune inwards, turning away from the thoughts of the day or the thoughts of tomorrow, turn inward, make this time a time for just you, your body, your soul and your higher self. This is time. To just be with who you truly are, all of you. And just imagine that you're stepping inside this energetic elevator. And once you're inside this energetic elevator, look for that button that has the shape of your heart on it and press that button and then allow this energetic elevator to take you smoothly from your head all the way down into your heart and really feel your energy shifting down the focus and energy shifting down into your heart. And when you feel that there is a little bit of weight, the weight of your attention on your heart, and imagine this energetic elevator opening its doors so that you can simply go into your heart. And feel yourself becoming even more relaxed as you move inside your heart. As your body, your mind, and this heart, which is the space where your soul comes in, resides, and communicate with you. you. 
just take a moment to be here with your soul. Just feel the, the, the calm and centeredness that is within your heart and soul. And imagine that you can actually breathe into your heart. You can breathe into your soul so that you are drawing life force energy into your soul. And when you breathe out, breathe out anything that does not support your soul to be here and now in this moment with you, with all parts of you. Just let those interference go as you breathe out. And now call, call back all parts of you, call back your entity, your earth soul. And really feel your earth soul is also within your gut area, where it is the entity's natural home and be really connected with your body, your soul, and allow yourself to be connected with your higher self as well. Feel that column of energy that is connecting your higher self to you that is at the top <laughs> of your head. And feel what it feels like to be connected with all parts of you. Feel unconditional love in your heart. That unconditional love is for yourself, for all parts of you, and also for all parts of you that is all around you. Your environment, your other playmates, nature, all the animals, all the birds, all the sea animals, feel this connection with earth as well with Mother Earth and also with the sun, with Father Sky, with all that is, that is beyond Earth. Feel the connection to all of them, to all of creation, because all of them are simply other aspects of you. Feel this unconditional love within your heart 
that is connecting you with all of everything. There is simply just this one love. We would like to tell you that everything is going according to plan. But we also understand that you may not trust us or even believe us because what you're seeing now seems to be crazy. Everything is upside down. There is so much confusion as you look out into the world. But we also want to remind you that it truly is okay. Everything is going to be okay. Feel this love within your heart. This love within your heart is really the only reassurance that you need to know that everything is going to be okay. The world you see outside is simply a passing drama. Passing drama of a dying dynasty. If you like, you can pay attention to them if you think that's going to help you. However, we actually suggest that you don't pay attention to that dying dynasty. Focus on building the new one that is within your heart. This new, this new world that is just waiting to sprout. From within your heart. And that your, your unconditional love connects you. With everything that is good and right and powerful throughout existence, throughout creation. Feel that life force energy that is coursing through your body, that is your guarantee that everything is going to be okay. Allow that life force energy that Mother Earth is supplying you, that Father Sky is directing to you. You are not an orphan you have not been left out to fend for yourself all by yourself. You are being supported 
from below and from above, from Mother Earth and from Father Sky and from all that is good, all your brothers and sisters from all over the universe is assisting you. and is simply standing by to hear and listen to all your call for assistance. Whatever you need, simply go within your heart and really connect to that love. Connect to the love of yourself and connect to the love of the universe. And the universe will be able to hear your message. The universe already would know what it is that you need and it will conspire every living being whether on Earth or anywhere else in the galaxy, is going to conspire to assist you in every way that they can to help you find a way to deliver what it is that you wish for. And that is the promise, the promise of love. This is the love of family, it's not the love It's not the love of human family It's the love of soul family It's the love of spirit family I am not saying this to tell you or to somehow suggest to, the, to you that your human family is in some way inferior to spirit family. It is just that your human family has their own issues. So they may not be able to answer you from the pureness of their heart yet. So have compassion for them. They are still learning and that's okay. Just like we are all still learning. We are all still growing. But Earth, Earth made a choice collective of Earth also made a choice. We made a choice to call forth and raise our vibration in support of life, in support of all that is good and supports life abundantly and vibrantly. And while some, some of our Earth Collective, some particular members may not have made that choice. They may have made other choices. However, that's also okay. We all have free will. However, free will, what free will really means is that
their free will cannot intervene with our free will. Our free will, the free will of living in love, in unconditional love, within and without. And we made that choice with the support of Mother Earth and with the support of Father Sky. And this free will cannot be intervened. Know that the choice has already been made. It has already been made. We are all simply now witnessing the road of how we get to there. And we have to laugh a little because the human collective sure likes drama. Even in collapsing this dying dynasty it has picked a dramatic way So if you like drama, you're in for a ride. But like any ride, just remember that the ride will be over at some point. No matter how scary the ride may be, and, and it will look scary, just like any good ride. If it's not scary, maybe not as many people would want to sign up for this ride. But here you are signed up for this ride. So get this. Get this love of drama, get this taste of drama one last time. And know that your destination has already been selected by your soul, directed by your higher self. So be in your heart. Be in your heart. Feel the love. Connect to the love. And really start to imagine within your heart what this new, what this new future that you are building for yourself. Don't let the drama distract you. Focus. Focus on what's within. Focus on what it is that you truly want for yourself.
focus on the love for yourself. Focus on the love for all that is. And really feel yourself. Really feel what it feels like when you already living in the world that you most want to live in. The world of unconditional love. I know it may not seem very likely right now, and I absolutely guarantee you that that is where all of us are going. Simply feel it within your heart. Feel this connection. Feel this connection with all that is. And really let it breathe it in. Create the space of love for yourself. There is this space of love. Within your heart that has always been there. It may have been locked off by layers and layers of trauma, of sadness. of other abuse, of the trauma of just living life in the old dynasty. And that's okay. But that, that space of love has never left. It can never left can never leave you because that is your gift. That is your gift from source, from your creator. I'm not talking about your parents, even though your parents loves you too. I am referring to the universal creator that has created your soul, has specifically created a unique vibration that is your soul. It is a vibration 
it is an energy and you cannot isolate you cannot rope off that part of you that came and carries the signature of source you may try you may try to lower your frequency of vibration all you want but that frequency that spark of the source is always within you So focus on that. Now more than ever, focus on that, call on that, and allow that spark to start to grow. Allow it to grow. And allow it. To show you what unconditional love truly is. Feel that unconditional love that is from source, from the creator source. Feel that love growing, growing within you. and allow this softness, this warmth this unbreakable connection with the creator source to be your light in darkness and whenever you feel the confusion that life on earth may try to sway you take a moment take a moment and remember that you're always connected to source all you have to do is simply stop and tune within, tune into tune your whole frequency as much as you can to be a match to the source within and feel and truly feel the love of ages rushing into your heart filling every corner 
and sending out this unconditional love to all parts of your body, informing your whole body that it is unconditional love. unconditionally loved. Even if you feel confused, even when you feel that you have no access to source, know that that is simply an illusion this bond is unbreakable. Allow this love, this connection to source to be a source to center yourself again, to come back to the magnificent brilliant, powerful light that you truly are. No matter how much you try, you are simply an aspect of source. And when you unite with source, with the creative source, in this frequency of unconditional love, You know that you can stand in your own power again. And you can regain and remember all your abilities, your abilities to create the life that you love. That is proof that you are truly an aspect of the creator source. No one can take that away from you. All anyone can do is to convince you that you don't have that power. We are suggesting that you don't listen to those people who try to convince you. We would like to suggest that you simply stop and come right back to center, to your center, at the center of the Creator Source, where you and the Creator Source can stand together and create. whatever you wish to create.
We love you. We love you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.